Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. I hope all of you are preparing very much seriously for the semester ex end examinations which is just around the corner. During this time, one question which I am getting continuously from many of you who are watching this video is that how to calculate our CGPA. So we know the grading system that is S, A, B, C, D, E and then we know that uh, certain subjects have certain uh, credits. But then, how to calculate CGPA is the biggest question in front of you, which you people are continuously asking me. And along with that, many people were asking, what is your expected CGPA for the first semester, bro, also. So, these kind of questions will be answered in this video. So, I thought of making a dedicated video in which I could answer all your queries. So, moving forward in this video, I will be telling you how to calculate your CGPA and what is my expected CGPA. And in the end, I have a surprise for you guys. I won't let you know at the starting itself. Yeah, before moving on with the video, if you are new to our channel or if you are new to this community, then immediately click on the like button so that you will never miss out any informative video like this. I have been uploading videos regarding uh, need preparation, regarding placements preparation, freelancing and all. So in the future also, I am planning of uploading many informative videos like this. To never miss out on that, I would like to suggest you to set the notifications button to all so that you will be the one who will be notified as soon as I upload any kind of new video guys. Yeah, with that note, uh, I think we can start with the video. Yeah, first things first, how to calculate your CGPA. To, to calculate your CGPA, it's pretty much simple guys. It's just a mathematical uh, expression which has to be solved. So, uh, there will be two things. One is the numerator and the another is the denominator. I'll be explaining it in a simple terms. I hope you all will understand it. Even if you have any doubts, feel free to put it in the comment section. I'll be helping you out there also. Yeah. What comes in the numerator? So, in the numerator, it should be the uh, sum of all the products of the credits and grading system. Yeah, I'll make it clear. First, let us keep a reference as S grade to be 10 and uh, A grade to be 9 and B grade to be 8 and respectively till E. So, that is S10, uh, A9 and B8, uh, C7 d6 and e5 so in that case uh, suppose you are expecting an s grade in it then you should be adding to that numerator the product of 4 which is the credits of mathematics and then 10 which is the uh, complementary for the s grade which you are expected so this will be in the numerator and then divided by the total number of credits the expression is also being projected in the screen so i hope uh, you got a brief idea and i hope you will be able to calculate your cgpa too so if you have any doubts in this please put it on the comment section so that i'll be able to help you out there also i mentioned it earlier in the video also guys so this is how you calculate your cgpas now understanding how to calculate your cgpa the next question which was posed to me continuously was what i mean what how much cgpa are you expecting in your first sem bro so personally uh, to answer this frankly i'm expecting a cgpa above 9 uh, which will be fine about 9.2 around 9 and 9.2 is what i am expecting so i request you all to put it in the comment section how much you are expecting in your first semester because everybody's exam is just around the corner and everybody is seriously preparing for it i hope you should have high expectations so that you will be uh, reaching up to the mark now coming to the most interesting part that is the surprise which i talked about earlier during the initial uh, stage of the video it is that i have created a python code which does this for you so you need not take your uh, credits and your expected grade and convert it into its complementary and then multiply it and then uh, put it in the denominator and then do all this blah 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 stuff so to or uh, to make you free of this hassle i have come up with a python code which will help you calculate your cgpa all you have to do is just give your credits and give your expected grade to it so it will only process it and it will only give you what i mean what cgpa will you get according to your expected grades and your uh, credits which you have provided to it so i have uploaded it to replit and you can fork it over there so i have given the link in the description through which you can use it at the comfort of your mobile phones or your pcs for that reason yeah now as soon as you click the link which is provided in the description you will be headed over to this page yeah this is replit which has an inbuilt ide which allows you to use python and its uh, interpreter both in your mobile phones as well as in your pcs here if you click on run yeah, this is completely curated by me and I'll be uh, sharing you the source code also in the end of the video. I'll be explaining it too in a brief manner. Yeah, as soon as it opens, it will ask you what is the total number of subjects which you are appearing for your semester and examination including labs. Yeah, in my case, in most of the cases, it will be eight. So it will be six subjects and two labs. So for me, it, if in that case, I have eight. So I'll be clicking on putting eight and I'll be clicking on enter. And then it will be it will go on asking your subject name your credits and your expected grades so now let me put mine so let me uh, 
uh, put my uh, expected grading so that even you will be having a brief idea about what I am expecting for my semester and examination. Yeah, first thing is engineering mathematics. So I have a subject called engineering mathematics. And as soon as you click on the, I mean, as soon as you put your name, then it will be asking about how much credits does that particular subject hold. So it will ho it holds four credits. Yeah. And then what is your expected grade? What do you expect in mathematics? So I am expecting an S grade in it. So I'll be clicking on enter. So now <clears throat> once you are done with providing all your subject names and its credits and its expected grades, once you click on enter, you will be getting your CGPA guys. So this is how it works. Your CGPA according to your expected grades is 9.45. Oh, it's coming 9.45 expect according to me. So let us see how will my exam go so that if everything goes as expected, then I'll be getting 9.45, which will be very good. Subscribe to Brothers Together YouTube channel for more such projects. Yes, guys, I'll be coming up with many such projects. I had come up with uh, flames using python for valentine's day this was it guys so this was the front end thing of it so now let us see how actually this works and what is the source code for it yeah when you click on show code when you head on to this link click on show code and then when you select main.py there yeah this is the source code which is making all this possible guys now i'll be explaining it line by line in a brief manner uh, people with who have a little bit hold on python will be understanding it in a very easy manner yeah Coming to the first line, so first I have declared a dictionary. Yeah, here I have assigned for S, let it be 10, and then for A, let it be 9, and for B, and, and the same thing it goes. I have declared a variable called numerator and set it to 0, and then denominator, which is the credits, and then I have set it to 0. And then this is the printing which is, comes under UI part, and then I have printed this. Yeah, now comes the important thing. First, I have declared a variable count and uh, taken an input from the user asking them how many subjects are there. I mean, how many subjects are they appearing? for this examination including labs because we need the entire thing including labs also and then uh, i have initiated a while loop yeah in a while loop when i is less than or equal to count so how much ever count the user gives that much time it should take the uh, values right so when i clicked on 8 uh, it asked me 8 times because the 8 subjects are there i need to give the details about all the 8 subjects in the same manner Inside this while loop, I have uh, asked the user regarding how many credits and what is your expected grade. And this is the most important thing. If you go through this, I am adding, I am incrementing the numerator by credit into grading. But inside the grading thing, there is grade dot upper. So what actually this is doing is, suppose the user gives uh, the subject name and gives four credits and S grade. So this will uh, go to the dictionary which is above and search what is the value for the S key and it will take 10. So now it will be adding 4 into 10 for the numerator. Yes guys, you heard it right. This is uh, how it works. I explained it earlier in the video also. Now I think it will be pretty much clear for you. And then uh, obviously the de denominator which contains credits must be added with the credit of the course. So this happens for all the subjects and in the end, so the CGPA is calculated by numerator divided by credits. I have used the round function here because the uh, since it is a float value, it goes up to a lot of values. So to round it off to two decimal values, I have used the round function. And then in the end, I am printing CGPA. In I am printing that your CGPA according to your expected grades is CGPA. Here I have used a formatted string so that I can use a variable inside the print function. Yes, guys, so this was the brief idea. I hope if you have some grab or, or about Python, then you'll be understanding this. Even if you don't understand how this actually works, it is fine. I hope you all understood how to calculate CGPA basically and then how to use this. So if you want to calculate your CGPA, then you can use this. I have given the link in the description as I said earlier and you can uh, calculate your CGPA on your own, guys. So I hope you all will definitely like this and then uh, share it with your friends too so that even they be, they'll be able to calculate their CGPA in seconds without any hassle. I hope all of you liked the surprise which I talked about in the earlier stage of the video guys. If you did the same then immediately click on the like button so that even I'll be getting some motivation to come up with same kind of videos in the coming future. And in the same way if you have any doubts still I hope many people will still have some doubts regarding this calculation. So even in the source code also, if you have any doubts, then immediately put it on the comment section so that even I'll be able to help you out over there. And then last but not the least, I'd like to suggest you to join our Telegram group, which will definitely benefit you a lot because there are many engineering students who are studying in different colleges across Karnataka. There, uh, it will be a lot of help to you once you join. So people who are there will be able to explain you the best about what benefits they are acquiring from that group. So. Yeah, if you haven't joined it, then join it immediately now. I have given the link in the description for the same also. Yeah, with that note, I'll be ending this video, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video. Bye.